because if you can't beat United, yes, a real United, United team, yeah. maybe they come out today and play hard and whatnot. True. I don't, I, I don't know what to say. True. But if Everton can dominate this team, right? Like Everton were unlucky Lucky not to score, yeah. and I don't want to be that team that dominates and be unlucky. I have to explain, you know. You gonna, you gonna explain Taya? You gonna explain Taya? No evidence. No evidence. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I, I don't want to be that team. So today we should just handle our business normally, like okay. normally. The next day. Pick again. Oh, oh, he's chasing him. Oh. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back uh, to a brand new episode, uh, which I'll be honest with you, I was forced to do. Um, so we're gonna break down the Chelsea versus Manchester United. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the floor to you, uh, cause uh, yeah, yeah, I have nothing much to say. So go ahead. Yeah, first of all, we have to look at the one billion dollar disaster. Okay. Uh, I have never seen. I called it. Once Abramovich left, and you got an American owner, you inherited the Spursy American heritage. You are now a Spursy type of team, you know. You, you are no longer title challengers like like we used to be. Like you, why, why am I saying we? Like you used to be under Abramovich. Hmm? Where you go season in, season out, winning trophies, whether it's FA Cups, Europa Cups. This season, this season, there's nothing for you guys. There's nothing for you guys. You spent on flops. Let me start with the biggest flop of them all. Enzo Fernandez. Enzo. The big... Uh, what, what did he get in their World Cup? Uh... Young best player best young player. Yeah. Do you do we if you ask yourself, do you remember the best young players of the previous World Cups? The answer is a big no. Why? Because they disappear. They are all hype jobs. That's what Enzo is. A hype. The guy who came in to say he's going to be something like Rodri, Tony Cruz, uh, Xavi Alonso, or Xavi Hernandez from Barcelona. The guy is a hype. The guy is a Xavi region. He's a hype. But that's a conversation for another. He's a hype. The guy has not bossed. You know, there are players when you get them. I'm not saying results all the time, like Chelsea results. Let's say from Porter type. There are some midfielders when you get them. They are impactful. You see, like, this guy. This guy is taking the team somewhere. When you see Declan Rice in West Ham, with bum average players, he stands out. Even though he's not getting the goals because Boyan was getting the goals, Antonio was getting the goals. He's a but DM, you, you so don't, you don't, you, you don't, you, you, you don't see... They command. You see, when you see Declan Rice, you see command. You know that, oh, he's the one driving the team forward, even though he's not getting the goals. When you see Rodri, even though Haaland is getting 40-plus goals, Rodri still sticks his claim like, I'm the one who's controlling this team. When you look at somebody like, um, who, which other midfielder? Bruno Guimaraes from Newcastle. Bam average guys that he had. Pains. Pains. P, double T. Pains. Last season. This season is a bit better, but still, sometimes they play with the 17 year old Miley, uh, Miley and yeah. then they play maybe with long stuff. They are average guys, but Bruno will show he's the general. You know, there's that, there's that command. Enzo is a hype. Enzo needs Caicedo to step up. He needs Gallagher to step up so that at least he's a sideman. He isn't him. He isn't him. You don't bring him in the same conversation with De Jong, um, who else? Uh, 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 Chouameni. He's not of that elk. He's not of that elk. The guy is a side piece. How did you manage to sneak in Chouameni? Oh, Chouameni, Chouameni is him. <laughs> the guy is not of that elk. He's not in De Jong, Pedri's elk. He's not. He's a side piece. That's why I say for, for Chelsea to do better. Yes, because Enzo is a big money signing, so obviously he has to play. I felt if Lavia is fit and Caicedo is, is getting the rhythm of the team, them two should start in that sixth row and then they play Gallagher as the ten. That would be a workhorse of a, of a midfield. Enzo, yes, he can come here and there and he should work his way into the team. But for now, because... Caicedo, but for me, my hope is in Caicedo. Caicedo looks like the guy that can be that general in that Chelsea midfield. But right now, him too, that bill is, is weighing heavy on him. And w you missed most of all Gallagher. The least talented player, you missed Gallagher. The least talented player in that midfield, amongst uh, Enzo and Caicedo. He's the least, but he's the most important. 
because he puts his heart and dedication to the job. If Guys, we, I'm just here. I'm just waiting for If my you turn. look at uh, this guy, Jackson, oh my God. I just have to have a soft spot for him. But Jackson is a waste man. He needs prayers. No, 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 no. He, need, he knows what he needs. Oh, he knows what he, he knows needs. what he needs. He knows what he needs. Uh, maybe I, I actually I can't blame Jackson. I I, I blame her. You know who? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Is. yeah. And and what's if more, only she could give the, the 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 pictures. I feel like how can the whole Chelsea team? How can the best player? Look at me, Chelsea. First fans. of all, who's the best? How player? can the best player? Who is the best? Be player? an academy boy from 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 Man City. Oh, you mean Cole Palmer? How can that be your best player and you go into that dressing room satisfied? Co Palmer. Palmer. It's a disappointment. It's a, it's a big disappointment for Co Palmer to be your best player. You should look at yourself. If you're a Chelsea fan, look at yourselves in the mirror. How can Co Palmer be your best player? He'll be limited. He'll have a run. Of, he's not used to having so many games. So he'll steam down. And that's when Chelsea will go back to having their problems of finding a winner because he seems to be the bright light Ryan Sterling he's a moody guy he can get sometimes he can get the game by a strap of the neck but Cole Palmer you cannot rely on Cole Palmer to win or be in a top four he's he's a good player but I don't think he can be consistent throughout the whole season dragging this team people like Caicedo Enzo Fernandez Ryan Sterling should step up, especially Enzo from the midfield. You 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 should be you should look himself in the mirror. I'm very disappointed in Enzo, but yeah. What do you have to say about the game? Um. Oh, wait 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 wait. How can you let Maxos, Amrabat, and <laughs> Penandes to run the game? You know. Amrabat, I really rated this guy. He's now coming. The truth of Amrabat is now coming to fruition. I actually rated this guy higher than Declan Rice when they played against Florentina. We've started. The guy can tackle. He has better passing. The no, guy is a machine. Doesn't have better passing. If if he has he a run of game, lane. if he has a run of games, and he's got a better understanding of the field, if he has got a good run of games, <coughs> and they just put him alongside. A proper passing midfielder. McTominay is good, but I don't think when you pair him up in the sixth row, he's disciplined enough to make some certain passes. Not good. When he, but when he enters into the box, he's good. If you pair Amrabat with the way he swallowed up the Chelsea midfield, all the passes were going to Amrabat. It's like when Enzo saw Amrabat, he started shivering and passing the ball to Amrabat. Here, master. The Moroccan and Tate. Amrabat. Speak. What do you have to say? Um, see, the thing is that as a Chelsea fan right now, every Chelsea fan, all right, um, we deserve to be cooked. Yeah, we deserve to be cooked because I'm very sure most of us, like, we, we, we rate our team. We rate our team without results because you could see maybe if it's in terms of maybe player profile, uh, okay, for me personally, I wanted us to get Declan Rice as my number one option next to Enzo. Uh, if you get Declan Rice, you're, in the to you're, in the, you're challenging for the title. No, even, next to even, Enzo. Even, not, with, not, even if not, you swap... Not either or. If you had to swap Enzo... No, no, no. It won't, if, if it won't so change. If Enzo had to go to Arsenal, Arsenal would be fifth. And Chelsea would be first. If Rice was at Chelsea. It doesn't matter who you play up front. Declan Rice is him. Uh, I'm telling you, you could bring... You could bring, you could bring Zidane, yeah. You could pair Zidane. You could pair Ronaldinho. If Jackson is your striker, my brother, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. All right. So if Sterling is your winger, if Mudrik is your winger, no matter how much control you have, they don't understand the game enough. But like I was saying, every Chelsea fan deserves to be cooked right now. Deserve to be cooked. Like just, just take it. Yeah, just, just own it. Because, uh, in my opinion, I'm not, I'm not here fighting for like seventh or eighth. So what are you fighting for? Uh, the season is done. Oh, officially, I call oh. it. I like, you are going to say you're fighting for the title. I was about to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the season is done. Like I'm calling it right now. 
I don't care what bounce back we have. This is this was the game. Like I don't know. Maybe we're playing three D chess. Chess, like I said, you know, trying to keep Ten Hag in the job. Maybe that's what we're doing. I don't know. But yesterday was an abysmal, abysmal performance. Like there was no good player on the park. There was no good. I, I don't need to go from player to player. There's no. There's a point in time where there's no need for uh, player rating. Like. Can everybody have minus something? Like, there's no need for player rating. From Thiago, who is the uh, the experienced one, right? Uh, dropping into the midfield and clearing the ball back to our goal. <laughs> For, uh, to uh, Cucurella, maybe you can say gave effort. Copama. Uh, no, Copama was bad, actually. Minus the goal, Copama was actually no, bad. After that, Amrabat saw that he's the only light in... Whenever no, Copa before the goal, before the goal, Cole Palmer was bad. There were t there were times where we would be going on the, the attack, and he would overhit the ball into Sterling. Like Sterling would make a run, he overhits the ball, or his passes. Or there was a time where uh, Thiago, uh, no, Disasi gave him a hard pass. The hit, the first touch touch wasn't good, and he started dribbling into. How our about defense. this Caicedo guy? Caicedo, what's I wrong with Caicedo? You wanted Caicedo. Yes, sir, I wanted. I'm now wondering how Caicedo is looking at Liverpool, saying I would have been challenging for the title. Now I'm stuck here in tenth. Yeah, um, yeah, that's a okay. That's a that's a, in my opinion, that's a cold hard fact right now. But I still think the upside to Caicedo is still good because what has he done that he what should? he fails to do compared Caicedo and Brighton com, uh, compared to Chelsea the what um is his tenacity and ball winning ability. Last year he was one of the highest top two top three. In fact, top two. He, he, he had more ball recoveries and, and more tackles than even a Rodri. But, okay, you can contextually, you can yeah. understand because Man City has the ball yeah. most of the time, right? But he, he was just all over the place. People were comparing, which wasn't really true, but they were comparing to a Kante, the way he covers the field, right? Yeah. Uh, but not at that level, but, but similar, right? But, but, but he has lost that tenacity. And for me, I... I wonder because we need a consistent ball winning uh, midfielder. That's what we we don't have, and our best ball winning midfielder is the ten Gallagher in Gallagher. Which for me, that's a it's like putting the cart in front of the horse. Your deepest players should be the best ball winners, right? And the players going forward should be the most technicians. We have inverted it completely. Our technicians are deep, yeah. and our ball winners are forward in terms of Gallagher and Enzo and uh, um, Caicedo. So for me right now, I don't even know where we go from here. Losing to Manchester, like okay, there's one thing you lose in a game. There's the how you lose a game. Yeah, the next games are cheaper. They're, they're not, actually. Uh, against Everton, did you see uh, Did you see the coach in the stands? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my son, Sean Dykes. Sean yeah, Dykes. Yeah, yeah. He was in the stands. Yeah. What do you think he was thinking? Cheap Cheap, cheap, cheap. I, I actually don't see... Even if we were playing Luton next week, I won't tell you we win. How about the biggest fish in the room? The, your boy got cooked. Oh, uh, Reese. Reese. All right. Oh, look, look, look. Listen, Nacho. Listen, 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 listen. I give Reese a pass. Like, Nacho. No, listen. I give Reese a pass. He, I saw him eating grass. Is he vegan now? <laughs> Is he vegan? I saw Reese James eating grass like he was... He was... <laughs> um... Ganacho cooked, cooked him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, he did. Ganacho cooked him. Plus, Rich James made a lot of mistakes. So uh, I'll give him a pass just because of rhythm. I'll I'll put that game to rhythm. He hasn't been playing. He comes back and then he gets a red card. So now he comes in in the game in the second half. The game is already high tempo. Manchester United were pressing. So as a player, you need to be warmed up to the game and basically he was playing against the hottest player on the field in the terms of he was filling himself already. Yeah. Ganacho had acres of space. I don't know what Pochettino was doing, allowing Ganacho to have so much space. So he was already feeling good. There were times where uh, even Anthony was doing flicks, tricks through uh, Thiago Silva's legs. Yeah. So there was the moments where all the Manchester United players felt like they were, you know, really good. 
and Ganacho was doing stepovers. Like, how many times did Ganacho do like step over? Not going anywhere, just doing step over. He was yeah. just feeling himself. You know? Yeah. That confidence, that arrogance, that good arrogance. So, I would give. I know people, you know, will come at me for this one, but I'll give Rich James a pass because I've been saying, you know, Rich James is cl is clear from uh, Trent as a right back. As but, of now, after eating that grass, I don't think. I don't think so. What? I don't think at this moment is because. Well, you're vegan phobic. <laughs> vegan phobic. <laughs> Right now, I don't call Rich James up for the England squad after what I score. Come on, that's... Trippier, Walker, that's a, and that's Trent. A rea that's reaction. I, 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 don't, I don't call him. That's reaction. You, uh, we, we don't want... We don't want Kylian Mbappe to be doing that to him in the Euros. So, for now, he really has to step okay, up. Okay, on current form, I would take Trippier and Kyle Walker over him. Yeah. Yeah, that, on that's, that, yeah that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, like, I, he, I, I, he has a point to prove. Like, after going He forward. does. Yeah. One with fitness and consistency with game. So, on, on, on that alone, yes, I would agree with you. But in terms of the ability, you, you can't... That's what I'm saying. I give him a pass. I give him a pass. Not that he wasn't bad. Giving somebody a pass, not, it doesn't mean that um, I'm trying to absolve him from all responsibility. No. But I give him a pass because, in my opinion... He hasn't been playing enough games and he comes up against one of the hottest wingers in the league at the moment in Ganacho with so much confidence. And he, he did cook uh, Rich James that, uh, you know, and made him eat grass. So, but there's nobody to talk about for Chelsea. Like, there's no one player I want to highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was crap. Everybody yeah. was crap. With, with Jackson. Enzo, the one -on -one. Enzo was crap. Like, I was saying, for me, yeah, I don't follow the narrative of. Um, for me, I, I try to watch the game and in some in terms of like ninety minutes and how you perform within that ninety minutes. If yesterday, Enzo, with the chance he got where he could have flicked the ball in and scored, if we tied that game two two, it's not gonna make me come on here and say Enzo is him. Same way, I would say the same thing with the last game where he scored two goals. I barely even spoke about the two goals he scored because the performance that he gave in that particular game was poor. Maybe not. Mm, to, due to his own fault because we had a red card. I get yeah, that. Yeah. But the performance itself was poor. See, was Yesterday, a, he was really, really poor. There was, a, like, there, was a, I, there was a one stat that I used to see people posting, especially on Twitter, yeah. about Enzo. He's created the most this, created the most... Those are, those are all facts. But it's not, it's not ifs and buts, it's facts. But, but if you look at his... It's not tangible. Because in one year, he has... Well, three goals and one assist. That's not good enough for me. You can okay. You can say it's not good enough, and I get that point, and I and I and I agree. But at the same time, um, the narrative that he doesn't help the team, or the narrative that he's not a uh, an upgrade to what we have, it's a fallacy in my opinion. Because first of all, as a team, if you have a tempo controller and you have somebody who creates key passes. There's a reason why it's called a key pass. So now when I make that pass, the other players have to use the pass and convert it into something useful. Now when a key pass is going into Ryan Sterling, when his first timing or when to pass, he doesn't know when to make the next pass. You know, there's something called like a hockey assist, right? Yeah. Where you make the pass that leads Before to the, the pass, assist, yeah. right? Enzo is the player who probably have a lot of hockey assist if he played hockey. He only plays football, and he plays with dummies in terms of Ryan Sterling. I'm not trying to say Enzo. First of all, Enzo's game in a, a okay, maybe Enzo needs to be pacified a little bit with a tackling machine as a DM. He needs help. He needs to be pacified a little bit. I agree. I've never, I've never um, not agreed to that point. But his qualities on the ball. I keep on saying this. If you watch Xavi and how Xavi played, th this would sound like it's an outrageous take. But I'm telling you, Enzo plays like Xavi with less turning radius. In the sense, the, the way he maneuvers the ball in, in tight space is not as good as how Xavi does it. But the reading the game and executing passes that are difficult it feels, in different areas. It feels uh, he's very Xavi's good LQ would have been dominating no, the thing so is, many no, no, games. The, no, the, dif the difference, of course. He's, he's it, not him. No, Enzo, it, the Enzo is, is the hype. The difference is that woke up players hype. like this, you know, players like this, right? Um, not that Xavi was not good. Xavi only made like five yard passes and uh, like short gets out of trouble and makes the five yard pass. My point is like, if you have a Sergio Busquets as the DM who who 
Xavi Busquets, it's it's uh, uh, Sergio Busquets is very underrated in terms of yeah. um, how much he intercepted balls. Yeah. Maybe you don't see him making tackles, but he yeah. read the game before the the pass was played. Yeah. So, and um, Barcelona always had possession, so you don't ever have to see Xavi yeah. having to run yeah. for the ball or recover. We never thought of Xavi. Oh, your recovery speed is, is so crap. Enzo needs to be pampered. That's what you're saying. Enzo needs a defensive midfielder that 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 makes a lot of tackles that All wins right. the balls a lot. There you have it. Excuses from the one billion spenders. Don't forget to subscribe like and share we are out